Okay, so we're going to fast low corners right now. Let's go in. Go through back entrance. Right. Right, okay, now I'm going to put you on secret camera mode. Right. Here we go. Here we ascend up, ascend up the stairs. <laughs> it smells like farts. It smells like beer farts quite badly. You're on. Right, we're at Astro Coggers yeah. for our continental breakfast, unlimited. As you can see Tesco everyday value soft bread, corn cakes, sugar, and some milk white bread. Continental. Standard pork standard 50p toasters from the charity shop for the Mayfair. You've got your clock that's advertising the video machine, so that's obviously got for free, like to get in the freshest fair. Yeah. Um, you go that way, there's a hole, there's the window, it isn't even sealed properly. <laughs> you come around, there's a health and safety hazard, you've got clothes down. Yeah. Hanging by a thread. Um, that's the local honours. That's the sort of, yeah, that's the outline of the sort of. Yeah. Continental this is features today. Shit right here. It is dispatches. Unfinished areas. So how do you feel today? Um, I like reclining on reclining on this leather, faux nice, leather. Yeah, like with these vintage rustic effects. Yeah, rustic. Got effects some like well. bleaching effects going on. Yeah, I mean it's really rustic in here. I think that's what they're trying to go for. I mean, it's very modern. And yeah, it's very like Jackson I think Pollock. I think it's very Tate Britain, to be honest. Yeah, so do I. I think like a bit of a. I think the Tracy Emin work could be done on that. Definitely. Now, yeah. to be honest, I reckon it's more Jackson Pollock. Really but then again, it could be quite Tracy Emin with the whole sort of. Yeah, I mean, this could be a, a Tracy Emin like little yeah. piece right here. It could be. It could be called Hostel. Yeah, Hostel O'Connell. Yeah, it's a sort of dodgy sound system or something up there. I don't think it actually <laughs> works. Or no, it definitely doesn't because the cables are cut down there. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not very good, is it? How so that's basically it, really. Yeah, it's not much. For now, else to... there's not much else to it right now. Thank you, TripAdvisor. Day one in London. Here we are by um, London Eye. London Eye. Review to Hostel O'Connor's. Um, I'd give it a. To be honest, it was only a 10, 10 quid. 10 you're, kind quid. Of, you're kind of getting what you're we got. We got for. a clean bed. We got a clean bed. Um, door didn't open that we had a key yeah. for. <laughs> um, so there's no point of having a key. Um, breakfast was ace. Just no, it wasn't. It was awful. We thought there was going to be eggs benedict. And it was I thought toast. it was ace. King's Mill bread and uh, Tesco value margarine. Yeah, it's not bad. It's... That's kind of standard. I wish there was Nutella, but that's just personal preference. Exceeded my expectations. <laughs> yeah, the consistency Good. was inadequate. Definitely yeah. inadequate. Yeah, the consistency was inadequate. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely consistency <laughs> in the paint, paintwork, yeah. deco. It was, I don't know. I don't, if I they kinda... were trying to be Tate Britain, yeah, yeah, London. I think that it's not really a metropolitan atmosphere. I think yeah. they were trying to go for like a sort of Jackson Pollock kind of thing when it didn't really work. 
the 24 hour security well the what, guy was, was kind of sleeping he was asleep watching Nigerian soap operas yeah I swear one of them was how to unblock a blackberry at one point when I looked at this really? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Um, so he was he was a bit of a character on definitely. a positive we had free Wi-Fi, which is good I'd probably give it a 1.5 out of 5 stars yeah like on a hostel rating, can't say I've been to many hostels, if anything. But it seemed alright, to be fair. I'd, no I'd, I'd, give it, I'd give it a free, there was not any mould or anything, yeah. it was just a minging bar. Yeah, on floor. hostel rating, no, on the hostel sort of on front, a hostel rating. in a hostel kind of point of view, I think I'd give it a free as well, I agree. Yeah. I concur with your conclusion. Yeah. There were a few health and safety hazards, but... Um, like there was sort of some old wire work, exposed yeah. wires, not the best thing. I don't think there was actually any heating, which isn't very good. And pretty much, I think they were double breaching. blazing. I, think were I like the man there. who we were expecting someone Irish to be talking like this. Yeah, we thought we'd get the Irish no, hospitality. The hospitality. But instead we got, yeah, here is your key. It will take you, you to do. your room. Bedroom. You are one and three. Yes, here's your bed. You are number one and number three. Number three. Um, I will come back in a minute. Okay. I'll give you your key. Yeah, I'll give you your key. We expected Irish hospitality. We were in fact greeted by a some round sort of Iranian, Turkish, or, Iranian yeah. man. Spaniard smoking goes. Don't smoke. You're going to get, <laughs> get into a lot of trouble. trouble. And then um, one man. I'm pretty sure what we walked past. We heard the words beautiful and how much. <laughs> so that that was that was nice. At least it wasn't like turkey. Yeah. Bella Yorkshire pudding. Yep. Yeah. That was a big surprise for me for someone in Turkey to know what Yorkshire pudding is. But overall, um, it was an so interesting it's been a day. Good, yeah. It's been a good couple of days. We met Ewan. Or just back out my side yeah. memorabilia. <laughs> yeah. The sort of source of inspiration for this whole time. To Monica, Boyekasha, Ewan McIntosh. To Monica, Ewan McIntosh. <laughs> to Monica, don't know, Ewan McIntosh. McIntosh.